Hello and welcome, my name is Trismegistus. It is day 10 of spring of our second year in Stardew Valley. Today's Vincent's birthday, so we need to go and give him a present. I'm also going to potentially sort out my chest situation. Might not do that. Uh, what I am going to try and do is give various people gifts. So we'll probably effectively empty the flowers, I think, if I haven't already, and give people some gifts. First off, let's go do our morning routine. So yeah, so it's Vincent's birthday today, day 10. Now we got the uh, egg festival coming up. I can't remember if I won that last year. I think I didn't, did I? Hmm. Yeah, so we need to find Vincent. Vincent's favorite things are grapes, I think. And let's have a look. Um, we've got this new social tab. Oh, there he is. There we go, so he loves pink, pink cake, grape, or cranberry candy. Hmm. I'm not sure I can cook that yet. But I'm pretty sure I've got some pink cake. No? Oh, he likes grapes. There's a blackberry, isn't there? Um, have I got my watering can? That's a good watering can. Is this a water? Notice so I hadn't been watering that in that. Uh, I was editing the episodes. So it's obviously not going to be in there. Oh no, grapes are going to be outside, aren't they? Because I'm doing them into wine. That's, looking, that's obviously fish. Can I make either of the things he likes? So uh, cranberry candy I could make, in theory. What about pink cake? I don't think I've got pink cake yet. No, I don't like it. So, worst comes to worst, we can go and make that. But we'll just go and see if we've got... Oh, I thought I had some pink candy. Uh, uh, pink cake. Have I got any grapes? I've got some grapes. So give give Vincenti that. So the aim is we're gonna for our, our brewery. Uh, we're gonna have some sheds up the top here. So. Thing we'll hopefully do while I'm distributing gifts, if I've got gifts to distribute, of course, uh, is chop down some trees so that we have the wood. Did I leave? I think I left the pig so that the pig can give. Yeah, because it wouldn't hurt us if we ended up with an extra pig. Quite useful, actually. So the intent really is to have the chests along the front here, basically, rather than at the side. I've mentioned, definitely mentioned this before because this fits rather nicely here. But you see we've only got 500 wood and we need, uh, I can't remember what it is each time. It's quite a lot. I think it's 250, is it, for the barns? Something like that. So these are all... Loads of diamonds. We could give some of them away. A few of them. Does anyone like frozen tears? I'm not sure if they do or not. I think everyone likes rubies and stuff, don't they? Uh, all right, so I've clearly given quite a lot of these away, haven't I? That's okay. That's that's good, really. That make my life a little bit easier. So let's see if we can find young Vincent. Just sell them. Oh, I didn't put the battery in there. And I didn't put the things in the thing. Because that's the other thing. I mean, if we're going to sort out the chests, we're going to need more chests. Which is, of course, going to require wood to build chests. So that's the other reason we need to go around. Do a bit of wood collection. Is Vincent going to be at home? see him. No, he's not there. Hmm. But what about... Uh, hmm. Let's see, see if we can find Vincent first. He might be in the library. There he is. There's the young master. 
Miss Benny says I have to read this book before I can go to play. Oh, I've read these loads of times, I bet. So, a great book for Vincenti. A birthday gift, that's very kind of you, I love it. Four hearts, wow. We were only on one before. So let's have a look at our social, and let's use this properly. So we know that we've got Abby here, Abigail here, she loves amethysts. Does she like... Now we know she loves amethysts. Does she like anything else? What about... What does that extra symbol on that mean? I'm not sure what that... Oh, does that mean that I've got it? That little little symbol there must mean that I've, I've got that on me. Because I have. So let's get that. An emerald. Thank you, I really love this. And what about... She links penny roses and plum puddings. Should we try giving her a diamond and see what see what happens with the I love presents, thank you. I don't know if that boosted it or not, but we can certainly have a look now and see if it recorded that. Ah says that she liked that gift. Interesting. What about Abigail? Does Abigail like, for example, let's give her a ruby, see what, how she reacts to that. Oh, hi Tristan, just taking a break from your work. Me too. Oh, nothing physical, just some online classes I'm taking. So let's give her a ruby. Hey, how do you know I like? Oh, I was hungry. This looks delicious. That was one of the, that's one of the. It's been left in as like a default response there. And it doesn't make a lot of sense. So let's have a look and see what that did to Abigail. Oh, so she likes rubies. Interesting, interesting. I'm imagining, I don't imagine that they all have a list that long. Most of them, I'm pretty sure they only have like a short, relatively short list of love gifts. Hmm. So what have I got left? I've got gift buyers, I've got one, two of them. Let's go, oh and I've got a load of frozen tears. I don't know if anyone likes them at all. Hmm. Okay, Let us go and See if Clint is in. It looks like it. Yep. Let's give him a diamond. See how well. Let's talk to him first. Hey, what do you need? Let's give you a diamond. This is a fun gift. Thanks. Yeah. So he likes likes that, but we don't know what his favourites are according. I think I mentioned this before, I'm fairly sure it's filled them in based on the notes. Process Geo is here. Yeah. What's that? Have we had one of them before? An Esperite. Oh no, that's a new one. Nice. And I was going to look and see. Because we could do steel, you see, next on the trash can thing. Once I found out that was trash can, I, I, admit, I admit I kind of lost a bit of interest in that. That's another mineral, isn't it? So I'll pop it up there. Cool. I wonder if Willie's got anything interesting to sell. Anything new or anything. Got bay crab pots. Lead bobber. Let's wait to your fishing bar, preventing it from bouncing along the bottom. I don't know, I've seen that before. Old dressed spinner. Training rod. Ah, that's been added. That's new. 25 gold training rod. I don't know if you now get that to start off with at the start of the game, maybe. Hmm. Shall we give him a frozen tear? See how he reacts. 
actually it's just so I have it first. Some fish come and go with the seasons, others only come out at night or in the rain. What do you think to that? This looks great, thank you. Cool. So he's happy with that. Ah, oh, we have a cutscene with Sebastian. Nice. Trismegistus, come in. Welcome to my humble, well, shack. This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a writer. Have I told you that? That's why I live out here by myself. I figured a lonely life by the sea would help me focus on my literary aspirations. Everyone back home said I was nuts, that I could never make it as a writer. Can you believe it? They said for every successful author, there's 1,000 who fail miserably. Such pessimism. It's sickening. I can see it in your eyes. You do believe in me, Trismegistus. You've got that spark. Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. A question. What kind of books do you like, Trismegistus? Mysteries, romance, sci-fi. I would have never guessed. I suppose even those of the earthiest profession sometimes have their heads in the stars. I remember that. Well, enough talk about me. Hmm, you probably know a lot about plants, don't you? Would you mind taking a look at this rose here? I'm afraid it's not doing so well. It's nice of you to visit. So basically, that all that's setting up, he write, eventually writes a uh, a novel, and if it, if you depending on what you pick, he, he writes a novel of that type. Thanks for talking with me. I'll be thinking about what you said. Uh, let's give him a frozen tear as well. This is for me. Marvelous. Okay, so what I need to do now, really, is head over to the sort of main forage. Oh, it's in the way. Oh, there's Emily. You catch fish. I just hope you treat the poor things humanely. Every critter deserves our respect, even the slimy ones. Let's give her a frozen tear. Thank you. I'm feeling a positive, positive energy from this gift. I think it's four we need, isn't it, to ask them to dance. Let's have a quick look at... Because I think the saloon's open now. There we go. So, yeah. Has he got anything different to sell? He's now got ooh, some recipes. Ah, look, triple shot espresso. That was being sold at the. I uh, uh, don't know what you call it. The over in the desert, basically. The the guy there. Shall we get that? It's quite expensive. I'd rather. I don't think I'd rather spend the money. But we'll get this hash browns recipe. It's only fifty gold. Lucky lunch. They're really. They are quite good then. And only 500 gold. He's only got three of them though. Those are. Mm, okay. I know there's a thing where sometimes where the, where when you sell Pierre's clothes, isn't it? Because it's Wednesday. Have you ever look at the notice board? Oh, no, the squid kid. Squid kid are throwing the elemental balance into disarray. I'd like an adventurer to enter the mines and slay one of these creatures. Squid Kid. I think they're the... Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Yeah. He's closed. Um, I think they're the ones that shoot the fireballs. You know, the pink pink heads that, that shoot the fireballs. Oh. Looks like a good day, day to play catch, huh? If you weren't a girl, I'd ask you to play catch. Well, charming. I'm fine just watching from a distance. I want to play catch with you. Angry, what's that supposed to mean? I want to play catch with you. Really? I guess I under underestimated you. Mum's a little sore, but maybe next time. Is it Haley's? Yeah, I think she likes diamonds, you see. Pretty sure she does. The only thing I like about this town is the beach. There we go. Gasp for me, thank you. I think this is new, isn't it? 
It's a sewing machine, but I'm not sure how to use it. I'm pretty sure it is. An array of brightly coloured dyes, because this is how, I don't know if you remember, we picked up that sort of blank pair of uh, shorts or trousers or whatever they were. You have to get that set like sewing kit and you can dye, you know, dye the stuff basically. Um, I'm wondering if we should give you uh, a frozen tear. You can use a scythe to cut feed from grass or you can buy it from me of course. Let's give you one of them. Thank you. So I'm, really, I'm, more, I'm kind of interested in just sort of getting rid of a bit of this stuff. Oh, she's not in. Okay. Ah, she's over there. I was going to give Leia a, one of these gifts as well, and there she is. It's quite convenient, so I might as well do that now. Let's give you... Well, actually, let's talk to you first. This morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. Well, there you go. Hmm, I guess everyone has different tastes. Oh, so that forgiveness, she doesn't like that. Let's have a look. Uh, see where that shows up. There, there we go. So she loves them. What about minerals? Dislike gifts, there you go. Ah, that's interesting. Does it always default to... Yeah, it always defaults to favourites, doesn't it? Okay. That's cool. So I'm going to do a lot of chopping, which I'm pretty sure I will uh, chop out in the edit. Okay, so let's head home. Because thing, the thing, the other thing we've got coming coming up is salmon berry season. We'll use that as an opportunity to go around and uh, collect some wood as well. Ah, oh, the wine is done. Okay, we'll do that tomorrow. Actually, I need to shut the animals in, don't I? Oops. Quite late. I left that a bit late. Uh, let's just go straight to bed and sort sort our inventory out tomorrow. So there'll be a little bit from these um, uh, the jellies and what I what I put in there this morning, but nothing too too spectacular. Okay, day eleven. The plan today is to go around and sort of finish chopping the trees uh, and then I'm going to do fishing. Item spotlight, crab pot tick. Experienced anglers know how to craft crab pots. Despite the name, the pots can be used to catch a wide variety of aquatic cr critters in both fresh and salt water. Just place your crab pot in the water and load with bait. Come back the next day and check on it to see what you caught. We'll need to load it with bait again to catch more. Cool. So yeah, I've seen nothing going on today, birthday wise. Okay, so I need to grab these wine, don't I? They're not actually done, I thought they must those might be done. What are we gonna put in there? I haven't really got one. 20 must be nearly 40. Don't know how many we ended up with. I could do, I could brew up some coffee. Yeah, let's do that, that'll, that'll, because they, they won't, uh, it won't take very long though. Ah, oh, I've run out. Okay, cool. Scrub this thing. There should be more coffee in the, uh, in the greenhouse, I think, if I got my timing right. Time being. 
Well, that's excellent. We can take that to the uh, to the thing, of course. Have. Yeah, we go. Oh, we got green. Oh, I put the green beans in here, did I? Okay. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, I, by the way, I don't know what this is meant to do. Because there's a new button and it says add to existing stacks and I don't know what that means. Does that mean? I don't know what that's doing basically. Um, I noticed it in my my normal playthrough. You know, normal playthrough. My you know per, one of my personal playthroughs. I was like, what does that do? And then you click it and it's not clear at all clear what it does. So this is coffee. You see, the coffee, as I say, the coffee is very quick. Yeah, very, very quick to brew coffee. It's sort of one of those crops that where you can sort of stack it up into big, big chunks and then you know process it all, all together. You're in, the, you're in the way, horse. So it looks like we've got thirty. No, thirty-four. Okay. Maybe it does something where... Ah! So it looks like if you've got the stuff in there, it auto-sorts it in, maybe? So maybe if we put in one of each and I could hit that... Ah! Okay, I see now. Yeah. I have worked a thing out. Cool. Okay. So it's just like a quick, quick organise button, basically. Uh, so I put that in there, I'll put that now, do that, I'll do that, and we'll sell. Am I selling the wine? I might as well sell the wine. I can, might as well have the cash, really. These baggy pants, loose pair of pants, diable. That is, you get, there's this whole new system in the game, basically, where you can dye clothes. Now, I think it relates to Emily. I think Emily's the one who gives you the, you know, the capability to do that, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I say that mainly because if you look, you know, say you, if you look in her house, there appears to be this area now where she's got like a sewing machine. I think, you, I think, I guess, is really the, what I mean by I think, that you can actually make clothes as well. And I think you can use, you know, spin it from wool, maybe. Uh, the cloth. Because you can spin cloth from wool, and I think that's where it comes from. Okay, so we got a couple of trees. Aren't these? These are... Oh. I was hoping to get a seed. Those are maples, I think. They're not. Because really we want oak trees, you see. But I made several mistakes where I accidentally planted maples instead of oaks. I wonder if Robin's got anything else for sale. Is Robin in? We shall find out. I do not know. She is, and she has stuff for sale. So farm buildings. We now have, I believe, the fish pond. I hopefully I've shown you that before. We can actually build that now if we wanted. But yeah, once you've built a shed, you see a shed is 300 wood. It's a lot of wood. But once you get that, you can get the large shed as well, which is even more wood. So yeah, so we want to build a lot, a lot more wood. Has she got anything else to sell? Anything new? We've got a lot of recipes. We could get some of these. We've got lots of cash now. It's just enable you. There's like an achievement. Uh, there's like an achievement for building one of everything. Uh, but it's worth having the recipes because you know, I'm sure we'll do some deck. Oh, I'll do some decorative building. We can get your big TVs and yeah. Oh, mini fridge. That's new. Additional ingredients for cooking. Okay. Wood chipper. So a piece of hardwood to break it down into regular wood. Ah, workbench. This is new as well. When crafting here, you'll have access to materials in any adjacent chests. Okay, that's quite convenient. So you can basically make stuff from there, but you don't have to have it in your inventory. So you could stack up. Oh, we might get that then. Because can, we can put everything, all of our chests, next to this, and then it will we'll just have the ingredients as we need them. Mm.
you can, this is <laughs> they're quite amusing to fit them when you go in you put them in and you literally put them in and suddenly the light glows in and you literally you like put them on the wall basically like they're posters or something and then they're suddenly windows it's quite quite funny should we get we might as well get all of these recipes then see so yeah, it's only cost us a few grand but should i get any of these other things this is this is what i'm thinking about we don't really need that or that or that really at the moment but it's worth knowing they're there, I think. Did she have anything else? There's a house upgrade. And I need 150 hardwood. But, I mean, I couldn't afford that, but... Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, I've got a cutscene with... Wait, this is Sebastian, isn't it? Why... Who's the guy at the beach, then? Elliot. It's Elliot at the beach, isn't it? I called him Sebastian, didn't I? Oh, hey, give me one sec. He's busy. I should leave. Stay put. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to finish what I was working on. Ask him what he's working on. Compliment the decor in his room. I do freelance work as a programmer. That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Uh, I don't really feel like going out today. Oh, hi, Trismagistus. Sevi, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store and she said she was looking for you. Did you tell her I'm working? I did, but she said she'd probably stop by anyway. Sigh. No one takes my job seriously. No one ever bothers Maru when she's working on at, the cl at the clinic. Does everyone think I'm just stuffing the web all day? Uh, does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? Ask him about his career goals. Ask him why he doesn't want to see his friends. Well, I'm trying to save up so I can move out of here. Probably to the city or something. You know, if I'd gone to college, I'd probably be making six figures right now. But I just don't want to be part of that corporate rat race, you know. Well, and I guess I just feel more comfortable hidden behind the computer than dealing with people face to face. I know that feeling. Well, I should get back to work. I need to get this module finished by tomorrow. Cool. Let's... Oh. oh, she's there as well. I snuck into the caves last night and I got a nasty cut from a rock crab. Don't tell anyone, okay? I don't feel like doing anything today. Lovely. Cool. I haven't done too many of them scenes, have I? The, the cutscenes and stuff. Should we say hello to Linus? The people have here seem nice, but they avoid me. People are afraid of the unknown. Just neck over and do the quarry. Not been here for quite a while, I don't think. Uh, one thing I'm thinking about doing 
is setting up a whole furnace smelter array. Didn't I? I thought I got rid of them. Guess not. Oh, we've got two true fell. I need to get a, a, an oil maker. I'm sure I would have got one by now. I thought, for some reason, hmm, I don't seem to have one. So this is void mayonnaise. Uh, we need one of them for a thing that happens much later. So I'll stick it in here or in here. Stop it in there and get rid of all of our stuff. Oops. So if a single barn is 300, we've certainly got enough for two now. We've also got 150, we could do our final house upgrade. Hmm, that would be very convenient. The final house upgrade gives us, it's not actually the final one, is it? Because I've got to do the upstairs and then the cellar. Hmm. I do like this new addition. I've pointed it out before, it's not, not something new new to you. New new to you. Uh, but yeah, I do like the old. Uh, let's just pop these in here. I really need to sort out properly. Can we also do. I think we can also do the fishing pond. I'd like to get one of them up and running. I don't think it's going to be particularly useful to us, but uh, I say I would like to sort of get it running. I do actually, I normally do, do that. I have what I call fish, which is all of this, which is like the line caught stuff. Uh, and then this, oh, another chest with what I call weird fish in it, which is tends to be stuff that you either forage or uh, get from the crab pots. Uh, I'll just put them in there, but obviously it needs to be separate to the, the fruit. Okay, let's just go to sleep. Okay, so that is the end of day 11 of spring of our second year. We've made a small fortune from wine, I believe, yes. Yeah, 11 grand from wine, that's not, not at all too bad. And uh, forage is obviously those sprunions. So a lot of this is actually, well, not a lot, but some of it is carried over from, from yesterday. Um, oddly, um, or is it old? Do all the seeds get counted in there? But the uh, coffee beans basically get counted under other, other for some reason, I, I don't know why. Okay, so I'll call that the end of the episode there. If you've been watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and you might consider coming back for another one. I've been Tris Magistus. This has been Stardew Valley. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.